share on Facebook. It's time to crown a new savage for 2017. This time, it's 7th grader Jackson Jester of DeKalb, Georgia. This week, Jackson's school went on a field trip to CNN's Atlanta headquarters but he wasn't too jazzed about it. So he wore a shirt making fun of CNN's logo with the letters FNN and Fake News Network underneath. Fortunately for CNN but very unfortunately for Jackson, his school mandated he take the shirt off to participate in the field trip. The jesters were unhappy about this decision, and rightfully so. They claim it violated their son's First Amendment rights. Peach Charter Middle School later issued an apology to the jesters but the damage was done. The town of DeKalb was ablaze with debate and online forums fervently discussed the ethics of the matter. Many people actually defended the school's censorship and claimed it was the jester's responsibility to curb their kids' political views. Jackson's dad, Stan wrote a blog to try to shed light on the situation. He wrote the following, This year when the CNN tour was announced, my 7th grade son Jackson asked me if he could purchase an FN and Fake News Network shirt to wear for his field trip. As an advocate for the First Amendment, I agreed to his request. He picked out the shirt he wanted and then ordered it from Amazon. His mother cautioned him that he might cause a controversy and needed to be prepared for that. He was fully aware of the implications of his decision and made the affirmative choice to wear his shirt. Stan says he's disappointed by the hypocrisy of the situation and dismayed by how the school handled his son's situation. I defend speech and expression, even if I disagree, or it makes me uncomfortable, he continued. We all know that the only thing worse than your parents being mad is when they're disappointed. It's a shot to the gut. And it looks like Stan Jester is coming right for Peach to reach out her middle school with his disappointment. And Jackson is getting a first-hand look at the lengths cowardly leftist enablers are willing to go in order to shelter their slanderous networks. I think it's probably safe to say we'll see Jackson fighting the good fight on Capitol Hill in a few years. Share on Facebook. Thank <music> you.